So Flamenco was streaming something, was streaming a restream, uh, or streaming, restreaming a stream of Ralph's Kingpin Invitational, which was a bowling tournament hosted in Dallas, Texas. And the whole gist was... <laughs> Turkey Tom is very invested in in this. I, I I'm sensing I'm sensing some animus towards towards flamenco from this from Turkey Tom. I don't know why. I I don't know the lore behind this yet. I I'm I'm picking up on it though. Uh, so bowling. I I get into it. Um, Jim did a stream on it. Jim's stream was pretty good actually. I really liked it. Um, probably his best stream in a very long time. Just because it was, it's it's such a perfect little story of a horrific event. It's like a fire festival that everyone has done a YouTube history video on. Um, but Flamenco decides, fuck it, I'll restream this. I will <laughs> rap make. I will um make some money. I'll make some super chat money off Streamlabs because you know, I definitely have Streamlabs. Unlike Josh, who's a retard and can't get Streamlabs for whatever reason. And uh, unfortunately, over the course of him restreaming Ralph to own the Ralph, trigger the Ralph, he accidentally posts his email address or shows it on screen. And I believe it's the email address. Don't quote me on that. But that leads to basically him getting doxxed. And he looks like um, I, 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 people have come up with many different interpretations of what he looks like. Uh, I think he looks like the Chud meme. I should pull this up to explain because not everyone's going to know what, what the Chud meme is. Or not not the chud meme the um the like not the beefcake chud the the um the one that they use for pole tards does he have a different name this here this look what do you call this one chud's chud's the big guy i'm not talking about the big guy i'm talking look see i get this right this is perfect he just needs the square glasses and he, he looks like the chud meme to me whatever you would call this particular particular chud the pole meme, Chud Jack, pole face, pole face. Okay, pole face. It looks like the pole face. Am I wrong? Uh, whatever. Uh, also, in a strange coincidence, if you don't know, my name allegedly is Joshua Connor Moon, and his name is Joshua Connor. I, forget, I think Clayton is his middle name. Joshua Clayton Connor, spelled a little bit differently, but mostly the same. Um, so. Very, very bizarre uh, coincidence there. Uh, Jim invited him to change his name to Augustine, uh, which would be cute. He could be Joshua Connor Augustine, like, <laughs> like it's our love child or something. <laughs> um, I like the flam stuff. Just fucks me up. No hate to Maminko Nation. Okay, that's just good fun then. We're going to make fun of him a bit. Because he is a weeaboo, and therefore he's automatically on my shit list. Now, him accidentally doxing himself, of course, reaches the ears of, of Ethan Ralph, who has to interrupt his own own event to, to make fun of Flamenco. Now, at this point in the stream, um, they're bowling. And Ralph, being a master entertainer, the best in the sector, he decides, I'm going to set up a camera so that uh, you know people can watch us bowl. And then he decides, oh, I, I don't know how to accomplish this. So he just sticks the camera in the corner of the bar like it's been a, a bad boy and has to go to timeout. So there, it's literally focused on absolutely nothing for a long period of time. And then Ralph hears that uh, Flamenco has doxxed himself on accident. And he, um, he starts to starts <laughs> follow Oh, does he have cross platform? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, man, so There's there Ralph. So, I, actually, I'll let it go. Um, you, at this point, you can't hear Ralph. He's yelling at the camera. It's very creepy. Ralph's like right up in your face. Like this is the last thing that you see before you get mouth raped in Vegas. It's just right up in your fucking face. And he doesn't realize that his audio is completely and totally fucked. Nobody can understand what he's saying. So he walks off camera and then I guess somehow he, f he figures out that his audio is completely fucked. And he decides to come down or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they couldn't hear me. I forgot oh, there we go. that. They couldn't hear me. Shout out to Flamingo. Huh? Who just hey! put himself on stream. Go. 
Why are you did? trying to fuck with your boy? What an all-time epic on, you little fucking faggot. <laughs> wow. What? You doxed yourself, Does he know what boy. Check he do out. I, my, I doxed myself? Me slash the Ralph retort. I'm about to post that faggot's picture. Let's fucking Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you fucking oh, no. kingpin. Oh, I did? Oh, fuck. Wait. 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 Something mentioned that. Yeah, you popped up for a second. <laughs> I love this guy, man. That's awesome. But that's alright. That dance. just makes you guys. Well, hey, look then dance. I guess what I did wasn't uh, bad, Rip. You know what? Yeah, I would I say don't edit that last video, just release it. I mean, yeah, nah, he'll still channel. flag it. This yeah. is why chat you should not feel bad when bad things happen to us. Yeah. Wait. Why? Because he's gonna do the same thing that everyone does to him. Like, okay, I it's per, I, in my opinion, it is perfectly okay for Ralph to take his little victory lap on this because it is it is um his fault essentially, right? But then, this is a weird thing to reference. I guess it's appropriate because I I'm looking at the little the shark thing, like the the shark has eaten flamenco. And it reminds me of when I worked on 8chan, I always, people always posted this picture of like programming language tans and everyone made fun of, because I wrote in PHP, everyone made fun of me because she's tripping over the elephant and is dropping her, her platter. And it's just kind of like, um, th this is, this is flamenco in that moment. He's like, oh fuck, I accidentally, I was carrying this tray. I was just walking along with it. And then I, I tripped over my own foot here and now i have accidentally landed this piping hot w right in ralph's lap for him to do what he wants with and that, that kind of sucks i guess it's the lollicon shark youtuber gura grower or whatever and uh is that the that's the frumpy one right i've seen a picture of her in real life she's got like she's like a frumpy like n like fat looking girl with like curly hair jewish of course okay uh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not a fan of VTubers. I find it very weird. And it would be cute. It would, like, the idea of doing, like, a dog thing is, like, a really appealing one for video game streams. But it's just, I don't want to, I don't ever want to be associated with any of the, <laughs> I don't want people to think, like, oh, this dog, is this, like, a furry VTuber? You know what I mean? I, I can never, I, it's, it's a very cool thing for people who want to, like, personalize video game footage without... Like doing face cam, but at the same time you're like, eh, do I really, do I really want to get knee deep in the goblin vomit? I don't want to roll around with the goblins. People want to catch me in bed with a goblin. Do it, pussy. No, You're not gonna bully me into that one. Um. Okay. So, what's his face? Ralph does not end up posting this picture on Telegram. This picture that I'm showing on my screen, screen right now. Ralph does not post it to Telegram because he's embarrassed to do so. Though I am, I, I have Telegram open right now, and I'm I'm secretly in Ralph's Telegram channel. Don't tell him. Um, but he is posting live updates about Flamenco in his chat. Uh, pictures of his e-hentai and Reddit BDSM personals. <laughs> He's actually keeping me better up to date um, <laughs> with Flamenco than my own notes are. Here, I'll read this. Whatever, I'll bully him. Nothing, nothing, pers nothing personnel, kid, but you should not have your um, BDSM furry fart porn easily Googleable from your email address. Where is it? Where's my Telegram shit at? Downloads, Telegram. Oh, here. Courtesy of Ethan Ralph, uh, courtesy of my forum, I think. M4F26 Charlotte Dom looking to give loving humiliation. I've never read this before, by the way, so I'm going in blind. I am looking to train a slave online, maybe offline, in the very far away future. <clears throat> what I like, bondage a slight bit of pain, orgasm control slash chastity, humiliation. Oh, fuck chat <laughs> i'm buying i'm playing right into his hands i'm i think i'm thinking that i uh that i'm i'm the i'm in control here 
But do I feel in charge? No, I'm losing. I'm as I read these words, I'm losing control of the situation in real time. What I don't like: blood and other bodily fluids. Anything. So no, no. It, Flamenco is woke on the fact that Squirt is actually just pee. He's 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 in tune with this. Anything that is illegal or anything my slave has a limit about. Well, then it's not really a slave if she can set limits. What you can expect from me to be honest and caring. <laughs> the, the terminology slave here is very strange and juxtaposed. I'm just imagining like, uh, like Ralph's great grandpa on the plantation. Like, yeah, I like my slaves nice and docile, but you know, I'm I'm a sensitive, kind, caring soul with the Negras, and I don't do anything illegal with them. Nothing with blood or bodily fluids, and I let them set their own limits. Uh, but he continues. I aspire to be someone to tell you how your day was. A person to encourage you. Wait, someone to tell how you... The way that he words that, like, makes it sound like it's a an active thing, not a passive thing. Like, hello, honey, your day was great. And then she's just like, oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> now that you mention it. A person to encourage you, and if necessary, a shoulder to cry on. I want to dominate you and share with you all the pleasures and experiences involved in that. And it's important to me as a dom to respect any and all limits. If you're comfortable with anything, say so, and we'll drop it, and I'll respect your choice. You know, this isn't giving me a very dominant vibe. This is actually coming across quite submissive. I'm just imagining like a Viking in England, and during the the <clears throat> during the the seventh century, hammering up like his personal ad, like wanting to kidnap and rape fair maiden. Don't worry, I will respect your boundaries, and you can tell me how your day has been. Looking to build a family, but I'm a kind and sensitive soul deep down. Uh, love, Chavagrad. Uh, what I'm looking for, uh, someone who is honest with me. Someone that will call me on my bullshit regardless of my role. I'm looking for not a slave, but a friend. Then why don't you just go to like the the personal section of, of any website and say, like, I'm looking for friends in my area. Why, do you, why does it have to be a BDSM website? Um... And possibly even a lover. Wait. Okay, do I... So what's the progression here? First slave, then friend, then lover. You start with the slave and then you progress into knowing each other and being friends. I like to play twice a week online. I'm flexible about times and dates. Available on weekends. Free weekday mornings. And this online relationship is a priority for me. Another thing that I have to notice is that I would really like to find someone to do non kink related things with. Oh, that's bad, bro. I realized, okay, this is, to be fair, this is seven years ago. He's like 33 now, and he's 26 when this is written. I mean, this whole thing sounds like I'm horny, but I have no friends, and I'm looking for someone to strike that balance with me. Like, may, I don't know, maybe just find okay, suggestion. If you are someone who has written something like this and you're listening to my stream, my suggestion to you is. Find friends first, and then you will be surprised when other sorts of opportunities present themselves. Friends first, and then, and you know, actually, shuffle that around. Get a job, uh, and then you'll find friends through your job, and then you'll have these other, other opportunities present themselves. That's how most people do it, just so you know. Um... I have a big love of video games and books, mainly looking for someone, <laughs> jobs, friends, segs, <laughs> mainly looking for someone with at least one thing in common with me. So post any of your non-kink interests, maybe we can find something we have in common. I identify as a dominant and a bit of a sadist, but it's important to me that any sub of mine is comfortable and happy first and foremost. I'm seeking a relationship, not just someone to flog. P.S. Bonus points if you live in North Carolina. P.S.S. I've recently been curious about of the idea on switching. Oh, no. Any Dom ladies out there want to chat with me feel more than welcome. He wants to switch. He wants to trade. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not. Okay. I am not into BDSM at all. Right. Okay. That's not my thing. Um, we, are, we are equal in the eyes of our creator. Right. Mommy time. So it, it seems weird to have like this weird dynamic and early. it seems poisonous it kind of reminds me of like june and how she would like have pictures of her posted on the internet like eating out of a dog bowl it's just like why would you ever strive for that kind of life it's so awkward and weird 
Um, but I have a feeling that women who are submissive like that, who have serious fucking daddy issues, do not want someone who is going to come across like so needy. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, I have no friends. I'm looking for someone to play video games with me. Like, I'm just like, okay, what, what is she just going to like sit there naked wearing nothing but a dog collar while you hold her leash in one hand and a control in the other and you're playing Dark Souls together? Like, what, what, what is your, what is the actual, the actualization of this fantasy if it reaches its ultimate conclusion? What, what do you, <laughs> what, how do you, how do you imagine this in your head? I can't picture it. I can't picture how this would work, which is why it's funny. This is getting sad. Um, here's another thing. I've not viewed this yet. Courtesy of Ralph, courtesy of my forum. Um, this is Wanyanagura, boy soprano from... Uh, so the tags for this hentai are male. So these are the things that occur to the male characters in this, this comic. Anal, BDSM bloomers i guess it's like shorts bondage cross dressing feminization latex pegging prostate massage school swimsuit schoolgirl uniform so it's a boy in like i guess a female like a leotard swimsuit sex toys shot con and spanking oh so this is like serious mommy issues yeah, okay, female, anal, BDSM, big breasts, bondage, cross-dressing, farting, femdom, hairy, latex, lollycon, pizuri, schoolgirl uniform, sex toys, spanking, strap on, urination. What happened to no bodily fluids? What changed to add bodily fluids into this? Wooden horse and yuri. So it's like... From the sound of it, it's like there's a mommy and then there's like a, a lot like a, a young like twins or something. Group incest. So it's like a mom and her two kids, I bet. Based on based on my exposure to the internet, I guarantee you that's what it is. Uh story arc in Tankuban. Pizuri means titty fucking. Okay, great. <laughs> Porn addiction. My boy likes titty fucking, not bad. He wanted to bang his cousin for real. Well, that's unhealthy. <laughs> that's not good. Um, and then uh, also, courtesy of Ralph, courtesy of the forum. I, I guess he finds this more embarrassing than the fucking H, the, the whatever the fuck, the hentai. Femdom pegging. 200,000 views one year ago. I guess that's some of his Pornhub favorites. Did he read it or did he click on a hentai without actually reading it? Um, I mean, if I had to guess, I, and I, I could look at the forum, I think this is his favorites list, which is also cringe. Imagine having an account on a fucking hentai site and having like a favorites list. So you're like, oh, it's time for my, my favorite incest. Lollycon, Shotacon, Mommy BDSM domination porn. Which one? Let me, p p p like you have like a like um in a card catalog in a library and you're flipping through the cards like t -t 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 -t. ah here Wanya Naguda, my favorite, <laughs> just where I left it on my favorites list. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna say anything about um. <clears throat> I don't know. If I was Gura Gwar or whatever, I would run. Run Guraguar. They want they want to put you into in, in, on a wooden horse and and sodomize you with a strap on or a swim. <laughs> jump off, <laughs> jump off into the water and swim, bitch, <laughs> before they get you. Before your fans get their hands on you. Run, bitch, run. <laughs> She's going in the jar. No, run, run, VTuber, run. Total gun victory. I mean, I'm sure Ralph is feeling great right now. I think Ralph has like peeled off the gym bandage and he doesn't give a fuck about um, what Medicare has to say. F Flamenco, Flamenco tripped over the elephant, and uh, he won. He won his bowling alley thing. He got the trying to do a pull. Is oh, I 
sorry, my stream choked. <clears throat> is Flamenco going to Troon? Yes or no, chat? China got me. Answer my poll while I take a sip of water, and then we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, let's take a look at the results. Uh, 700 votes, there about. I'll wait one more tick for it to update. 790 votes, 58% say yes, Flamenco will troon. 42% say no, Flamenco is not going to troon. So we will see. We will see, chat. We'll look back in time and we'll see how this develops. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for making fun of Flamenco like this, but I don't know. It's his own fault. You're gonna. Here's my tip, okay? Are you someone who is insane? Do you desire uh, attention from from people that you don't know on the internet? Then here's my suggestion to you. There is a website called privacytools.io. Get Bitwarden or LastPass. Get your email account and make alternate identities and compartmentalize your fucking internet presence because you should not have one Gmail account that leaks to your Lollicon Shotacon Mommy Dom hentai porn list on whatever website. Uh, that is a recipe for absolute disaster. You have to like, like if you stream right now, if you put out internet content, you should be looking at at what people can find and how they can find it. And by the way, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people. I don't know what's wrong with Ralph. I don't know what's wrong with Flamenco. I have two browsers open right now. I have Firefox which I don't use for anything else, which has no history, which has nothing but Firefox and the tabs I load up to show you people. And then I have Brave, which actually has all, like all my shit loaded onto it. And then when I stream, I only stream Firefox. And it's like, why do, why do people not do this? Am I, uh, it's not that much effort. Just install a second browser and put your shit for your stream on that and don't have your actual YouTube shit tied to it like why is this, what the fuck is wrong with you so, that's my second advice okay number one compartmentalize your identity number two learn how to like use a second browser for your stream very bizarre other people aren't that autistic oh come the fuck on like you're gonna put your uh, if you if you are into bdsm fart fetish porn then you should be a little bit more aut you are autistic okay that's not a good excuse i don't believe for a fucking second that flamenco isn't more autistic than i am he watches vtubers yes he is okay he has no excuse for this there is no excuse it's laziness is what it is <laughs>